meeting, ladies and gentlemen. This is the February 7th meeting of the Board of Sewer Commissioners. Call the meeting to order at 6.30. And then we have a roll call. Sandy Slavin here. Donna Brock here. Peter Dunlop here. Jim Gaberti here. Malcolm White will be late, but he will be here. We have minutes from January 17th. I make a motion to accept them as presented. I have a second. So do you, you want me, Peter? Yeah, I'll just a second. Oh. I'm still dubious on it. And I don't I don't think I agree with the full zero vote. That's the one that we brought out. I brought out the discussion and the discussion is different than the minutes, than the than the motion. I went along with the discussion but not with the motion. That I didn't agree on that four zero zero. Well, about three, one, zero, is that what you're suggesting? You can go 301 yeah. or 310, I don't yeah. care. Uh, but uh, I would, I My note said 400, so I'm. I'm, I'm I, I, I was sure that that was included in, in the motion, that it was being broken up, so that they got a percentage of those. Well, want to hear the tape? We did look, and it, 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 in, it, in the minutes, it does not show in the motion. But. Do you want to hear, I mean, my notes show, show one thing. Do you want to hear the tape? Excuse me? Do you want to hear the tape? Uh, I don't know if I want to hear the tape or if, um, hi, Rich. Um, hey, Rich. What's the issue? Hmm? What is the issue? <clears throat> when we were going to fix the manhole covers from Promiscent Narrows up to our system, mm -hmm. we discussed the proportion that Bourne would get. Mm -hmm. Yet that's not in the motion. All that's in the motion is the total amount. I thought that what we discussed was also in the motion. Do you remember, Guy, on that particular issue? Oh, no. The, Are we talking about the meeting last week or the original? We discussed this a while back. And we went all over the place at the time. We had no knowledge of the IMA that says if they cause harm, they're 100% uh, responsible. And so we had discussed the 70% in many different uh, uh, scenarios. Um, and then we found out that it's 100% their responsibility because they cause the damage per IMA. Then we said we'd build the entire thing. Last week, we got, two weeks ago, we discussed it. But the motion was to do the whole thing. I know that you had some concern discussion, but the vote was four to one to move it forward for the whole bill. That's my recollection. Um, four zero zero. Yes. Yes. To take the whole but, invoice. But <clears throat> you're saying that the IMA says they're responsible 100 percent. If they cause harm. If they cause the damage. Absolutely. And I gave you but a copy we, of that. That was never brought up back right. when we had the original discussion. Absolutely. We had discussed originally that the first manhole, this goes back I think how many months ago we discussed it August 2nd, I yeah, think it was. And so we said that the original manhole that they dump into is theirs. The resilience, did, so that went from the first manhole and then the next five were hammered. And we said that, well, we contribute some 
but the flow didn't have that type of H2S. So we talked about a different scenario. We talked about everything. No. And we never come to a conclusion, but we did discuss many different scenarios. But, but none of, yes, but we never mentioned that they were 100 peppers responsible if they caused the damage. Right, we now how can you prove they caused the damage? Because it's their pump station, we put a meter there. And every time they pumped, the H2S was incredible. And that manhole is the one that they dumped to the wet well. Now, there's a long history here because the neighbor that lives next to that pump, uh, uh, manhole has been complaining to us, to Bourne and the DEP for years because the odors are incredible. She finally come to a head and she says, listen, it's making me sick. It's making my child sick. DEP called me. I called Bourne. Bourne said, oh, yes, we're, we were adding chemicals, but it got to be pretty expensive, so chemicals were no longer added. I asked them to continue to add the chemicals. We also purchased a cover that would mitigate the H2S for the lady who live in there. We put that in. That becomes Bourne's responsibility. So I called the, the, the maintenance, uh, I'm sorry, the DPW director of Bourne, who's also the sewer guy, and he, he said, okay, we'll stop doing the chemicals. On the day off, I called their guy in to see the lining, to see the pipe, to see the pump station. He fired up, and when he fired up, the odors were horrendous. So they substantiated the fact that that manhole was definitely impacted by what they were doing because it serves their pump station only, that first manhole. Now, when you come in at three to 400 milligrams per liter of H2S, that H2S, it's, it's forced into this manhole and also forced down the next five manholes. Actually, all the manholes, but the force is there. And that creates that H2S, that surge. H2S. So reading the IMA that stated that they are 100% responsible if they cause the damage, we can show the damage, we can show the cause. So applying IMA, they are 100% responsible. And, we, and I think I gave you a copy of the IMA, the, the actual highlighter that says yes, they are responsible. Yeah, that, that, that particular the IMA discussion came up after the and the original lot, that's right, the original lot, that's what I said, the original lot, we didn't even, because we didn't even have, were aware of it, so we didn't discuss it. Okay. But after that, we found this, oh, yeah, now they become responsible per IMA because of the direct cause of that problem. Yeah, that's why that, the, the motion was as it was. Mm -hmm. Remember that now, specifically. So what are we doing, guys? It sounds to me that uh, Mr. Tellup would, be, would probably be happy if we voted to change the vote from 301 or 310, depending no, on his... No, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. If, That's what I thought you said. If you, if, if you are 100% certain that they caused the damage, then I'm perfectly willing to go along with it. Okay. But and I had them there to it's, verify it. Because I, I always concern myself with IMA negotiations. But they were there. I had the DPW assistant director there to see the entire process and verify it. But nonetheless, yes. Okay. All right, leave it alone. I'll, I'll, I'll second the, the uh, motion to approve the minutes. Are you all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm abstaining because I wasn't here. That's right. I I guess it, it's a mute point then that I was bringing out. And I've got the sewer usage billing for born second half. In the amount of two million nine hundred and thirty four thousand eight hundred and ninety six dollars and twenty one cents. Did you say born? Yes, yeah, not the born, but I was going to correct that. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Right. So a user fees in the amount. I'm sorry, I misread that. <coughs> Reading what I wanted to hear. Uh, we'll send them the bill. <laughs> we won't get paid. Yeah, we'll you don't it. worry about it. I'm the one that gets the bill. <laughs> that was based on the new EDU, right? I saw it, that that is correct. It, it's based That's upon the new EDU at 626. It's 313 of this half year. I Absolutely. make a motion we approve it as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Guy, you have a separate one to be signed? 
It's in the blue. Oh, okay, she's got it. That's okay. It's working its way. Sewer superintendent's report. Guy, you're on stage. So I, I have very little time. Yeah, I apologize. It's, yeah, I'll be five minutes. You'll be good. Uh, just, you'll, you'll be happy. Don't tonight. apologize. I'm sorry. I, I, I won't apologize. You guys will be happy. Somebody. Um, I'm sorry. I, I do. Maybe I'm doing it on business. Never mind. Let's the marine is. So let's give you an update on the marine. Hold on one second. Yes, absolutely. Our new business manager, Ellis. Yay! Sandy. You're welcome. Mac, Donna, How are you? Good. Peter, Jim. That's Guy. Guy, okay. I'm really with. Who's this guy? That's uh, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Hi. Mother would like to. Are you in charge? School board, so she's at school. Hey, school are board. you keeping an eye on him, Ethan? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad somebody is. When my hair had color, it was red. Excuse me. Why? And when my hair had color, it was red. I just like really? redhead. Yes. Okay. Just okay, guy, you side win. note. Okay, thanks. Um, I talked to the uh, marine fisheries. I, I talked to the local branch. I sent me to Boston. Excuse me. And, and I have his name. It's Felix. Uh, <coughs> what he said to me <coughs> is that they subsidize that pump out program. It's federally, then flows down to the local states, and the encouragement is to get boaters to pump to put it into the, into the pump out, whether it's a municipality's pump out boat or the marinas. He went on to state that marinas. They send them a stipend, so it's not a whole lot of money, but we send the money to help them pay for the cost of having the setup for the boaters to come in. I said to him that are there communities charging a fee for the sewer? And he said, absolutely. He said that you are free to charge for the sewer at will. He just cautions us that it may discourage boaters if the marina passes the cost onto the boaters, which they probably will, and then it may discourage. So his recommendation to us is do what we felt is best, because communities do it. It's an individual community decision. So if we felt that we should charge them eight cents, four cents, two cents, whatever the number is, we're well within our rights to do that. Do you know what the stipends the marinas get from no, the, I didn't, I didn't roughly? I have no concept. Do you know what he the said marina, it was minimal, whatever that means. Do you know what the marinas charge? I have not looked at the marinas yet. I don't know what they charge the boaters because marinas charge boaters, and I think it's minimal because they have to try to recover their cost for setting up the station. But their marinas just have a, literally have a pipe that goes into the system, so that that's not a whole lot of cost. Um, so I their expense is, is going from boat to boat. Yes. And I don't know, I haven't witnessed it, I don't know if they literally go boat to boat or if boats pull into a specific spot, I can't say. Both. I can both. do more. It's both. You can yeah. pump out at the fuel dock or they can come it, pump you out. So. Or on a mortar. Okay. Yeah. So that's their cost. That's so the cost that they That have. would keep their cost pretty low. Uh, and I don't know what their costs are. I haven't looked into that. You may know more about it than I. It's all labor. I, I, it's all if labor. the equipment is subsidized, then... Equipment subsidized. Labor and fuel. Okay. So that's their costs, and, and I don't know any hard numbers, but that's generally yeah. their costs. As a boater, do they charge you to pump out? Yeah, that's yeah. what, that's, that's what that's uh, got, um, Patrick was yeah. saying, was a, a dollar a gallon or something like that. I have not, I can, you I, know, that's, I, that's pretty I'm steep. I'm not so sure they charge you if you pull up to the fuel dock, yeah. because there's a unit right there. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been billed at the fuel dock, but Things have changed a little bit. If you like, I, I, I'll, I'll... We have four marinas. Yes, I'll go to each marina and ask them what their process is. I'll also talk to Gary because we so do sure it ourselves. The town does it and, we, and the town dumps it at the, uh, where the Viking uh, dumps because we have a, at the dock where the Viking um, docks for their tours, they have a, a pipe that they just dump into and sends it directly to them. So I'll find out what. what but do Gary doesn't that. charge them anything at that point, right? I have no idea. I, I would suggest to you that Probably we're subsidizing. Gary charges nothing. That would be my guess. But I have no way. Let me look into it. I get some hard answers. But I think that's. I, I think the mission I was after was: Can we charge? And the answer is yes. 
and where we have to, where we're accepting this stuff and we have to treat it anyhow, we should get something for it. Mm -hmm. I, I was uh, toying with some ideas. Do we charge marinas an extra EDU for it? That's 600 bucks a year. Is that suffice? Um, we can look at the gallons. We charge for, for me. you know, I don't know. And we, we charge, we charge, uh, um, when we get potlets or pointy johns in, we charge an eight cents a gallon. So that's, uh, so I, that's just an idea. What we're doing now. What, we're doing how now. do we charge a marina now on EDUs? Um, it's based upon square footage. It's based upon um, what some marinas have uh, restaurants, some don't, some have. So it's back to square footage. We charge one but of you per 10,000 square feet. We don't charge them per boat or anything. Not at all. Well, I, we I, should I look at um, slips if we don't have that. I, I, th I think what we want to do is find out what the marinas are charging. And if, if for instance, as Patrick said, that they charge them a dollar a gallon, then we'll charge them what it costs us to treat that gallon. So if they're charging a dollar a gallon, I, 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 I personally think that eight cents is, is nothing. It's, it's fine. Well, that's what, we're that's what I'm that's thinking. What, that's what we're charging the haulers right now. Yeah, but we're well, not getting any. So it be the same thing. Oh. That's yeah. what the marinas are charging. We're not getting anything from them. Yes. A zero EDU for boat pump out. Right, there's zero EDU for we have nothing to do with the boat. That's totally nothing. We have nothing. So I guess we we need to find out what is being what is being yeah what the what marinas income is coming in from the marinas and Onset Pier for the use of that facility. Okay. So what I'll do this week is I'll, I'll look into the EDU building process for that, and we've got some of the answers already. Yeah. I'll look into the cost, the what gallon. marinas hmm? are charging, and what the costs are. I'll look at that. And then I'll look at Onset Pier. I have, the only one that's been forthcoming is Onset Bay Marina. And they send me their monthly, so I can use that as a generalization. Because they're Probably. pretty good about sending what their monthly pump out is. They, somehow they record it, what they're sending to me or what they're pumping out. So I have that number, and that gives a generalization of what they're doing annually, and that may help on the decision-making process. Then you, can, then you can average by the number of boats they have, and then apply and then, that average to the other three mm -hmm. marinas you don't have paperwork on. Mm -hmm. Or if it's too cumbersome, you just charge them in. An EDU. EDU. That's what, just maybe that's what I would say. EDU and just be done with it. That's, I think that's a start. It's reasonable. Mm -hmm. it's like, I do, too, it's, and you can look. At the season is like May. And from May and then when the kids go back to school it drops way off. It's, so, it's really June, July, and August. But so an EDU would be $636 uh, if it was by the gallon they go higher than that. Yeah. And so an EDU would be reasonable. But anyways, I'll get this research well, and it, it, better. It, it, it wouldn't go higher than that if we charge them just what it costs us to treat it. Well that's another, that's another approach. I mean because now you're only talking about three cents a gallon. Well that's what I'm saying. I'm sure that you know um, that Ellis can get the actual cost per gallon to treat with the plant, given the numbers that he has, he can give us a precise gallon, a cost of that gallon, and apply that to whatever it is. So that's, that's, that's a good suggestion. So we can look at that too. There's also admin costs on both sides. They have to track, then they have to give us their numbers, then we have to create a billing, an extra billing system to send it back. So if we are talking about a couple thousand dollars a year for, for income, it may cost us most of that just to do the extra billings and collections and chasing people down for their records of how many gallons. Um, record, they, they sent us their records, so records we have. An EDU it would just be added to the bill that goes out. But you just so, said you only had records from Lonson Bay. Lonson Bay. I was like, we, send, we got records from Lonson Bay. And but none of the others. Busy. No, but, but okay, so I'm guessing that the base. So we have something I, to base it on. I would, like, Whatever you I would like to make a suggestion that we charge them the EDU and look into it. I don't want it to drag on. At least we'll we'll have something in the pipe for this year, and then we can we can study it and find out what what it actually costs. If it's going to cost us more, like you said, it's going to cost us more administration. It doesn't doesn't does it? It's not worth it. Yeah, it might be an incentive to get records from all the rooms. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We could easily figure out how much revenue we could get from the one marina if we have yeah. records from them. Yeah. Eight cents a gallon. 
Yeah. We don't get anything. We're not doing it. We're not we got to build well. Well. We, we have to do. Yeah, let's do something. Yeah. Okay, so but if you ahead. charge them an EDU, yeah. then you've called them all even. Yeah. Do they all have the same amount of boats and the same amount of slips? And the no. same size of no. boats. They don't. No, no, no. That's, not at all. That's what well, she then, just said. Then how, how, do, how do you break that down? That's what how do you justify that? Well, that's why I'm saying do something and then do the study. Yeah. I, I, because we're not going to get this, we're not going to get that, you know, and we'll make we'll make adjustments. So we'll make adjustments. Is that a policy change? I said have to. It would be right. Mm -hmm. I believe you can't just be, arbitrarily uh, do it. No, it's going to be a policy change. Okay. See, I would prefer the study. I would prefer to have some idea what's going on well, as opposed to just off, hitting off and giving them a, a charging them for something we don't know what the volume is. But we're not going to have a study done until probably well into the season or after the season. We're going to come back, so it'll be, it'll start in May, May. Yeah, you already May. got the numbers from Onset Bay. Yes, that's we have that. So you have a starting point. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to take those numbers and extrapolate them, you know. Then you know, you know how many boats are in the marina. Gary should have that. Gary should have, and you should have all marines. So just give it, just say, Gary, give me the numbers. And you know what they're charging, you just take the numbers. <coughs> and, uh, so, that would limit the study. No, we How have. Are we do it? What we have five. Well, you can do that, but that adds more cost on you. We have five marinas, not four. Which one are we missing? We got um, Stonebridge. Stonebridge. The one at Rose Point. Yeah, we've got uh, Point. Bay. Bay. Zacco. Point Independence. Point yeah. Independence and yeah. Zacco. 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 That's five. That's five. Yeah. Well, I have a motion. I'm like to make a formal motion that we, we charge an EDU until we get all the facts, and then we can go ahead and do it. That's that's my motion. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Okay, all in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Charge EDU. I'll go aye too. I think we should. I'm against. I'm against. So that's going to I think you're going to end up in an argument. Because we have nothing to base it on. You're calling them all even. You can't do that. Yeah, they will pass it. You can put a note in with the bill that will be adjusted. Mm -hmm. No, we don't know if it could go be. up, could go down. I didn't say go down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> So, so what do we do with Onset Pier? Charge the town? The town charges us nine thousand dollars a year. I'm not worried about charging the town. If they if they have a cost, then we charge them. Hey, we charge housing authorities. That's the town. So we're doing we're five. I'm just trying to find out. We're doing five but marinas and one Onset Bay. Yeah, one Onset Pier. If you think about the pier, they have docks. So you're right. I don't know what that. So we'll, we'll get that because they got boats. They got docks. So charge them you. That makes it six. With the town. So something we don't have to vote on then, Guy, is that they have to be notified they gotta do the record keeping. No, because we're gonna charge the EDU, we'll do the research. Because but they keep the records on. Yes, they do. They do. I they're just supposed think, to, right? They're supposed to. That's what the policy is. So they need is. to get that to you. They just need to get it to us. Onset yeah. Bay Marina is great. They send so it. So they need to all do that. Yes. They all need to They all get the letter. Mm -hmm. Lots of bay, they send it faithfully. There's no nonsense. They, well, fact, send it out ahead of time. Send it, send it next week. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah, say, this is coming good. down. You got an issue, yeah. come see us. We're very yeah. lonely here. Mm. Right? Mm hmm. Talk to Donna. It's her fault. Absolutely. Absolutely. Show me the money. Show me the money. Um, lining project is underway. We're, we're cleaning. Uh, I think they just got the top of Swiss Beach Road. What they're doing is they're cleaning the debris and then they're cameraing immediately. So what it does is when they put the cleaning truck in, they put the camera behind it, it follows it so they can see the bottom of the pipe. And they also can see the condition of the pipe and they can also see where the laterals are and where the site pump stations feed in. And they're, they're actually recording that so when they do the lining, they can actually pinpoint where they got a punch and where our liabilities are. Um, so they're hoping to get to the marsh, you know, tomorrow maybe, because today we set up for it. We got plywood because it's, 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 it's not winter. It hasn't been winter. Mm -hmm. uh, the frost is coming out. 
So it's really hard. So we bought plywood so we can travel on that grass because it's really grass, and we don't yeah, have. Yeah, the surface is no longer hard. It's not hard, so we're going to plywood it. Um, oh, so are we, we allowed to flatten the grass with the plywood? I'm not so sure. Oh, okay. but I'm going to try to stay in the easement. We talked to the residents, communication we don't have with the residents. We trumped them, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll we ask for, we ask permission. So. We're trying to keep them in the loop. We are missing a manhole. We've got the measurements, and it seems to be under this beautiful island on Bourne Terrace that this family did a great job. It's incredible. And I want to talk to them before I just rip it up and go after the manhole. So I want them to know that, A, it's the easement, and that we're going to have to destroy that. We'll do our very best to put it back, but they did a great job rock garden, mulch. I mean, it's beautiful. It's the site next to the Marie, to the uh, mobile home park, the one we said we couldn't find. It's more than likely it's under this garden. Well, that's where the points, that's where the camera come in and said, here it is, here's the footage. Yeah. They measured it and said, yeah, it's right here. So I, I, I said before we dig it up, let me at least talk to the homeowner. I don't want them to come home in, in shock. I want to talk to them and say, we're going to dig this up. We'll do our very best. We talked about taking the mulch off, putting it aside, and then digging out for the manhole, because they covered it so it's down deeper than on the plants. And then we'll take the dirt out, and then we'll access that manhole, do what we need to do. We'll leave it exposed and put a plow in because we got a line from that manhole, which is going to be very difficult in that little area. So we've got some coordination to do because we can't run a lighting through the mantle. We have to go mantle the mantle. So that's going to be a, a really dicey spot, and we'll have to figure that out. Um, so we may need to take more of it. I, I don't know. And I'll let the lighting folks, which start in, the schedule start next week, but that may be pushed because they're not completing the lighting. I mean, I'm sorry, the cleaning. So what they do is they got two guys in front of measuring distances so they can record it. So the lighting can be cut precise. And they're doing that and they're inspecting manholes. They do that so they know that what they contracted to do with the, how much product they're going to use, the proper cutting and all of that. So they're doing that and then they're cleaning and camera. So all that will be gathered. We hope, we hope to be done this week, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, so that's where we are with the project. Okay, as, as, and along with the project too, uh, you might want to have a discussion with uh, the police on uh, the ones that are going to be doing the details, mm -hmm. is make sure they're visible. I got some complaints. That they're not visible? That the ones, when they were out there this past week, when they had that day with the fog, they didn't even know there was anybody there. And they couldn't see them. These guys don't make themselves easily visible. Don't they needed. all have to wear vests? Okay. Yeah, they wear Sandy. They weren't visible. Just oh. If they're inside the truck or something, they're not visible. Oh, so they weren't standing outside. They were, they, they, you know. I don't know where they were, but they weren't visible. That's all I can tell you. you know, because there's a couple of people saying, you know, they, they were afraid somebody was going to get hit. They were more concerned about the employees working. You know, that one of them was going to get tagged. Are the kids out of school next week? Is it week after? I think it's the week of the 18th. It was oh, okay. 18th through the 22nd. Yeah. I, I was just wondering if they caught, you know, they could do that road when the, they don't have the school buses to contend with. We're kind of hoping to do the school area when we don't have the school. When the oh, kids are right, around, okay. That area is going to yeah, be a yeah. nightmare yeah. school. Board. Yeah, all right, all right. I was kind of hoping, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Right. So I will get this. I will call um, tomorrow and speak to the person in charge of details to make sure that it's related to them. Yeah, just because um, I, I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Yeah, there's some policies. The state has policy for details. They're really supposed to carry a lot more than they do. But more importantly, they're not supposed to be on cell phones at all. They're not even allowed to have a cell phone on details. And so I'll reiterate this. I sent them a packet that I got from the state. There's guidelines for doing details. It isn't haphazard. And it all came about because they were challenging having flagmen. And they said that we're better than flagmen and we're more visible. What you're saying here disputes that. Absolutely. And so, in, they're always on that phone. So, we got to, and I, yes. so I got the policy from the state and they says, yeah, no phones, no nothing. So I'll reiterate that again uh, to the detail officer that you need to make sure that they're visible, they're on the phone, they're watching the backs of the individuals and protecting the public that's traversing these roads. Like all, all the so she, one of them that complained to me about it was that you know, she was just concerned that mm -hmm. one of the employees was going to get hit, that the workers that are there just you know, saw nothing to 
direct them. Okay. I'll make that note. Yeah. I was there, I've been there every day. The couple that I saw personally were very visible, but I didn't see the fog and I saw it. I, I saw so, it. I mean, this is good. obviously creates a real problem as well. This is good information and I appreciate it because we can get that out there. I mean, this is, and sometimes people feel that they don't want to say something, but when, when it comes to life, oh, yeah. you have to say something. You can't ignore things when right. it comes to human life. One human life is priceless and I don't want to jeopardize one. So absolutely, I'll get that out. Yeah, impact studies. I, which one are we talking about now? I haven't done no impact studies, so I haven't got anything yet. So let me say this. We That's started okay. uh, to, to um, well, I Commissioner Slavens, we started the project. The contract science official were on the project, so I'll, I'll update you as I get it. They're on it, they gathered numbers, they get all the maps, they've taken pictures, we've walked it. Um, so we'll get that out to you as we go along. So that project is officially underway. And they're doing all of the industrial park, all of Toby Road. So they're going to look at the impacts to Thatcher, Kendrick, and to Springboard. Uh, what the impact of the extra floor, what it was designed for, what are we getting? So we'll have a complete answer of everything about that entire area, including the mobile home park. They'll project their finishing because they're doing their project. We'll let we'll let project their completed how many gallons, and we'll do everything and see what it can handle. And we'll go through there. Pump stations will be included. Dry down tests will be done. The whole nine yards. The pump that we're looking to replace now at Kendrick is a three-inch pipe, and we can't shove more than we. The one's a four, and one's a three, so they got to look at that and figure it out. I don't know what. Maybe we need to put four inches. I don't know, but that would be a cost, and so I don't know. So anyways, How far does it, the three-inch run? It runs for about three feet. So what happens is the pump pushes it, so it chokes it down. And so it may open up, but that choke point is what you're working with. That's your choke point. That's all you can ram through at any given moment, right? It's done. If I was a one inch, that's all you've got. I can put a pump that's 500 gallons per yes, minute. Yes, but that's all. So how long is that three inch pipe? I said three feet. And then what? Opens up to a manifold of four inch. So what does it take well, to replace, we replace the three it? I gotta, I, I, probably, I gotta cut the manhole, I gotta cut the wet well, drill through it, take that up, put it out. it's not, just replace it. Well, it's only three feet. Hmm. But so what happens? You got a wet well. You got a concrete wall. Yeah. And they, when they put it in, they drill through that wall and they put the pipe in it. Yeah. So I've got to get that back out, which means I got to get into that concrete. It's it's concrete's around this pipe. But it, it would it be worth Why it if it is the if it is the. Um, well, that was done in the seventies and. I can tell you, show you a lot of things. You, you'd say the same thing. Why in God's name did they do that? It's crazy. I can't That's, speak it, to it. It's, it's crazy. A little bit more than crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. asinine. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. The forage pipe brought it out. It took us a week to, to, to bang a pipe through it. Because we couldn't, we couldn't get it out. In all fairness, nobody insane. knew what they were doing back then. I think, you know, it was new to the town. It was a new prog uh, program. It, it, it was a whole lot better than what we had. We had nothing, so. So anyways, that's when we are. So we look, we're looking at all that, but that's part of their analysis, their assessment. Do we need bigger? So we'll get all those answers. So this is all because of what's going on up there now in the industrial park. So, yeah, the industrial so, park is growing. It's just going crazy there. So we've got a lot of issues. We, I've got avionics looking. We can recover any of this or not? I'm sorry? Are we going to be able to recover any of the expense? Well, in theory, we can recover any of the expense. In theory, we're not supposed to have to put anything out. That, I know that. should that. be covered that's by the industry. I I'm going to try. Okay. It's, it's the industry it's is responsible for the impact that they create to the system. It's their responsibility to make it right. That's that's, not on you. that's simple. And we we went through this with others. Then if it's that simple, why do we need to try? Why don't we just tack it to them? If it if 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 it's going to be, if it's if it's them that's causing it, it then it's them that should pay. Yes, that's what the impact study does. And so we don't have those answers. It, some, you're, as an Who's them so causing it? You would hire an engineer Who, to come in Who's them there. causing it? Whoever. Whoever's right. causing an speaking. issue, well, generally speaking. What, for now. Does it, I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm saying... But if, if the whole plaza is dumping into the, the whole uh, area is dumping into it, 
and then coming into a three inch pipe. A lot of things going on. Yeah. So this what I'm saying. So here's to the point. When they did it, that's that was probably suffice for the size of that industrial park. <laughs> Since then we've added more industry. We've added a trailer park. Change of and use. Change of use of businesses. That little shop now is becoming a big shop. So it was not designed for today's use. It was designed for that use then. So if we change that, it has to be changed. The industry coming in has got to pay for those changes. That's all we're saying. That's what it impacts the So you say what's existing. My flow is greater than what was designed for. This is the cause of my flow, so this has to be the study, and this has to be what I need to do to make it right. That's all an impact study is. It's like when we did the... Yes, but just a second. Go ahead. You have a problem because we, we, we have too much going into this pipe. You can't just go to the last person that connects and say, you're the cause of the problem. If they, I, they could be, because when we did the trailer park, they were to the max. The next person coming in, what can I say? They're the ones... We but every something. one of them is contributing. Let me say this. Makepeace spent a million dollars to upgrade Springborn for their flow. Everybody's contributing. But they paid a million dollars because they had 50,000 gallons they had to get through there. We made them responsible for the entire, and they spent close to a million dollars. So what makes them different than anybody else? Why them? Because they have deep pockets? I don't know what the answer is. But if you come on when you come on and you create an impact that you create, then you're responsible. You can't say, well, all these guys are already here, so they need to pay. Well, when they come in, it wasn't an impact. It's like that proverbial straw that broke the camel's back. That straw is responsible for the camel's back. All the other ones that contributed, I agree with you. But the one that broke that camel's back is that one straw, the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back. That person's responsible. That's, that's just the okay. way it goes. How are we doing with flow capacity with the new business that got added? I don't know the business you're speaking of. Oh, the one that does the... Uh, Stone path. Stone path. Thank you. Over here. You are concerned about Stone Path overtaxing our unit and flooding us. And what has happened? I don't, I don't have any. So they were supposed to cost. So obviously, I don't think they're doing anything because they're supposed to cost. Oh, I got the impression they were. I, I haven't seen nothing. What I do have is, and I've got pictures and we sent a sample out, I've got an ungodly brown stuff that came out of us last week. It's ungodly. And it overwhelmed the wet well. And, so, and it caused all kinds of alarms. So we took samples. We're setting that sample okay. up. Okay, well, we and don't so know we'll if it's Stone back. Path or something no, else. Is. I'm going to chase that back. But I think you should check with Stone Path. I thought they were running. But they, they, we sent them a letter. I haven't gone there. We sent them a letter that said that before you run, because we've got to take a sample of their product, and we put a sample there. And their well, obligation is to would, call us I would follow run, so. up what? and ask them where their what their schedule is. We okay. need a tasting. They said six months to a year. I would follow up and ask them what their schedule is, because I thought they were processing. If they are, and that's the product, we'll know because it, we're, we're analyzing. I know they do a lot more beer, and, and so we see foams and stuff. I don't really, that's not a big deal. I don't know what the BOD is. And the concept was to see the impact by BOD loading, and I don't know what that is either. Okay. I'll send off a letter. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Go for free. One more. I usually is. I don't One know what to do. We'll see. I might be able to get one here in a while. It's crazy. Yeah, this flu season, it's been crazy. It's, the horror right. stories I'm hearing, personality, it's crazy. It really is insane. Okay. All right, so we're down there. So, And that's all I have for report. Do you have any comment have, so. on this, uh, the right Pierce letter? I'm sorry? The right Pierce. Well, we talked about it before, so you have the, you have the letter. So, I, I, to be frank, we, uh, with their report, they're saying that it's 50%. They're recommended that within five years we replace it. They believe that within five years, if we do nothing, in the sixth year we could have an issue. That's their recommendation based upon what they're seeing. I sent you the original report so you can read all the report. You can see all the pictures and you can read the analysis from the, from do the we, contract. Do we have a number on what it'll cost to replace it? $6.5 million to replace it. Let's put that on the next Now, one. that's the one from the Narrows to the plant. And yeah. the one down in Onset is the same age, so we're going to assume it's the same condition? We're going to, we're going to assume that it's greater because there's more salt water around it. That's what we're going to assume. So and, if, 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 if we stop putting a priority? That becomes the highest because it's going to take us years to get the, get the engineering done. 
so that we can't wait to six years old, oh, let's do it, or we have a leak because the process to get it done is, is long. Let's tedious. back that comment up again. Uh, we'll we get to the engineering. We'll I'm so uh, confused. What about, uh, what about the lining of that? Because they're talking about replacement and putting in an additional line. Yep. What about the lining of the existing pipe? It probably about six million. So, because you got to cut the pipe every thousand feet and put a manhole, and you got to put a new air leak valve. So the entire line will be chunked up because you can't line that distance. There's no. I think the greatest thing, and, and that's stretching, is a thousand feet. So every thousand feet, you got to excavate. Take it up, cut the pipe, build a manhole, put it in valve after you line. So that is a tremendous cost just to do each thousand foot segment. That's a cost because that's excavation. And then the lining. So absolutely, the cost of doing the lining, when they did analysis, they said replace the pipe. A, the cost, the cost was too close. B, the new EPDM pipes are thicker and they can handle H2S because lining, even though we know that lining can last, but the outside of the pipe, it, because of the corrosion in the material, is still going to eat towards that lining. So they're recommending that we put an EPDM pipe, which is modern, it's welded together, it's fused as a, uh, the um, uh, ductile iron, and they, for the bang for the buck, it's better to replace it. Now the pipe that's existing, you can leave it there, we can just leave it there. Um, it's not leaking, the potential is there. We can leave it there, or we can put on top of it. There's many options. If, if we leave options. it there and pump it full of fresh water, it may, be, it may last. It, it, if we needed That's it, right. it would it's be there. there. Someday, if we have an issue, we have that option. But if, but if we fill it with, with clean water, right right up full, so mm -hmm. that there's no there's air no in air it. In it. It should preserve. It, it, and I'll ask. I'm, I can't guarantee that. But it, no, it makes I understand. Sense. It makes there's sense. There's no guarantee. Yeah, no it makes it. sense because you're preserving. And there's the feel well, of redundancy. If, even of, if we hooked up a pump with pressure, so we did keep it full, that if it did have a a nail leak or something, we could we could keep it up. So what, what, so it's almost cheaper to put a pipe in beside it than it is to to line it. Yes. Absolutely. So, do we need a motion to put this on a five-year schedule and make it shovel ready? Well, well, what we want is we this want is what I wanted to do. But what what we, what we want to priority. We about. Yeah. That becomes the it's highest a priority. priority. That one comes up top. Read the you know why it comes up top? Priority. What about the because thing we discussed likely, last time? So I'm going to say that we've got gravity uh, mains that need a lot of work. I, we're in the marshes. I'm really nervous about them. This is a force main. This force main, the likely we just got to report this, the likelihood there is tremendous. That force main goes. I shut down that side of town because okay. the pipe. So the it becomes main so anytime you where to where narrows pump station to the treatment plant, and everything pumps it, including the hospital. So the hospital. Okay. The so the force fire, main yes. needs to be replaced. Correct. And the cost is expected well, to be. Well, according to this. Six something. Unless I'm just <laughs> reading this. This. Uh, uh, right, Pierce. The, the conclusion. I guess that's a summary. The. Uh, Mike, we've got some time on that one. What? On, Which time? What time do we have? What did he say? No, but this is what I want to do. No. If he's giving you a five year duration mm -hmm. to get it shovel ready, then we need to start. Okay, my question, my question is whether or not this is a valid assumption. And the reason I'm asking that question is because you're looking at wall thickness loss. You have two different things, two different places. Uh, yeah. Pipes, and it doesn't look like we've had. I mean, the worst one is the number one there. Line it out, which we thought would be uh, line. Is the top part of it? It's got a 38 percent loss. That's by far the worst loss. Uh, but it also indicates to me that there's still time left. Uh, before this has to be, you know. But so here's what I'm saying. You, you make problem. a call. I, I just going to bring you information because we don't know. The theory is it took 40 years to get here. It took another 40 years to get. That theory does not apply. Okay. And I, it just yeah. not applies. And so what they're saying is that their recommendation after analyzing it, being on site, they're saying five years. So they're saying to us that you should replace it in five years because of the numbers and the outside corrosion and pitches validate all that uh, and ductile line what it is. If it's a concrete line, which we don't know, it's even sooner. 
So we're using the conservative approach in saying, Chicas, we shouldn't take any chances on that pipe because it's that critical to our operation. And not only the criticality of shutting things down, it's the environmental impact that will be incredible. So do we get ahead of the curve or do we wait till we say, well, I don't know. And that's, that's a policy that. decision. We, we, I'll leave it at that. We, we batted that around a thousand times. Ago. Yes. So but the bottom line is that we're still waiting for and looking for, I think, something from you specifically, not from the engineer and not from I the sent you a letter that delineates your feeling on which is number one, two, three, et cetera. I, I sent the email to you. You I, have it. How long ago? I, I, Today. No. I honestly so, uh, you feel... So you can review it. I, we have to make a decision tonight. No, just... Look, I, I, I don't want to... I, I don't want to end up like other towns have. Neither do I. I don't want to go with Plymouth. I don't want to kick this can any further. Amen. I want to grab it, and I want to... I want to get it shovel ready for five years. I, I, Amen. You know, we need to do this. Let's not wait till it, you know. I'm we need to schedule with our exposure monetarily. Exactly. Every year. We can't, we can we can't kick this, that? we can't kick this can. can down. Can we ask them for the schedule? I can. I can. And I think this is imperative can that we get this Can they bring the schedule and then maybe maybe review this report with us? I, I can, if you would like me to get them on the agenda, I can do that and they can discuss it with you. Somehow we'll pay for it, but it's worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I can tell them. But they need to bring a schedule with, with dollars and time. What? They can do the schedule. Uh, I, I think they've already done it. They've done it. You're just got, not sharing it with you. Well, I, re, I, you've got the entire report. It's here. So let me see what's in this. I've got the entire report. Yeah, it's not, it's Where it's is here. it? It is. I sent you the summary of that 65 yeah, pages report. So you have it, so you can read it. Where is it? I, I emailed it to you. The email is longer than this? Yeah, it's 65. So here's it's, the report. Oh, yeah. It's a long, I didn't print it because it was so big. It's, it's a long report. report. I just printed it. I didn't read all this memorandum. memorandum. Yeah. I sent you the memorandum and the report. And you don't have to print it. You can read it. You have a computer. You can read it. Take no. your time and read it. No. Can I get a printed copy of it from your office? I'm, I'm just asking. Can I? Please? I will twist some arms. Thank you, dear. But the, I mean, the ideal thing is that this, this is all. I can't sit still that long at the computer. You I can, just, okay. yeah, I, it's I, hard, I it's hard to read on the computer like that. I like to look at a hard copy yeah. and underline and go back and. I'll print on another one for me. I oh, bless your heart. Okay. I've got a monitor and I still don't like it. No. Get a big one. Uh, at the last meeting, we talked about using the five million dollars that we. Yes, we did. Okay. Was is there a article pending that will transfer that five million from the Swiss Beach project to the other two projects you talk about lining? No, we don't. I, I so we never article. did it. Okay. No, I didn't do an article. I thought Jim was going to do it, and we don't have an article, so there's no article. So that money's going to get turned back in. No, no it's it, not. No, it's not going to get turned back in. Well, it is indirectly, right? We can't use it. You have to write another article. Do we have to? Wait a minute. You got the no, special. Wait, wait, wait. Is you there got the special? Is there an article to ref to take that five million off our books? The, no, the bonds that we haven't bought, that we haven't put out yet. Yeah, that is that is correct. Yes. Well, we haven't gone out, and, according to John okay. Foster, so we that, haven't borrowed the money. So, so that five million, in all intents purposes, is still we, available. Well, we, but we haven't done it, and and I don't think he he feels like he can do it because it was to be borrowed for this switch. Well, that's what project. I'm saying. Right now, that money has been approved by the town. Yes. For, for one for project. Speech project. Okay, it's not going to be used. The two not. things were, one thing was going to happen. I thought John was going to take that five million off the books because we're not going to use it. Right. But then we talked about here about having another article taking that five million and using it for another site. That's, that article wasn't submitted. As of last week, he said he wasn't going to borrow anything. That they were just right. going to pay this out of retained earnings. Yes. And he didn't feel like he needed permission from town meeting to not borrow for something. To remove money. it from the books. Now, that's two different discussions you have here. Yeah. You're having one, he's having another. So we don't have the money. It's not, a, it's not in our account. And it's but we've been approved to borrow the money. From the town. For the Swiss for speech. The, Project. Which is not going to be but used. I think it's going to be the same amount of effort to put a new article borrowing for your new thing, right? It's a still town meeting article. 
Well, I was so. hoping that we could put an article saying, we've got the five million approved. We want to use it for area B as opposed to area A. Right. I was but hoping that article. Is, there's nothing borrowed and he's not intending to borrow anything. I just didn't want to go back to town meeting and ask them to approve another five million. So the bottom line is Redirected. we still have the money available, on, to, available to us. Mm -hmm. There's no article any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I think we passed the time to get the article in anyway. We're going to pay for this project out of retained earnings. And we're not, not going to borrow anything. And we're not going to borrow anything, but that authorization is still out there for that, this sort of speech project that sure. author but that authorization is there we haven't used it so there's no reason we can't come back with an article of uh, special or the special or special or for the fall town meeting to redirect those funds for everything else yes i was hoping we would have that done but we don't but you're saying we have to use the five million that we're going to borrow for the Swift Beach project. I'm saying John Foster's telling me he's not planning to borrow anything. Say what? He's not planning to borrow anything. He paid the fees to set it up. Uh, it was somehow decided that we were going to pay this out of retained earnings, so we have cash in the account. And well, at that time we thought we needed both. Right. Well, the entire project that. We, we thought we were going to need range, 10 million. We had from 4 million to, to 9 million, so we asked permission to borrow there enough for, There's enough well, retained earnings to pay for a $9 million project. There was this, and you're right, we had, uh, I think at Schleckman's meeting at the time, I believe, I don't, I don't know if it's chairman, but Peter said, take the, pay for the whole thing out of, we have the money. It was 12 million at the yeah, time, or 13 million. No. That's right. He said, pay for it all. You don't need to borrow any. You're not going to do that. And so I said, no, no, you got to have money. You got to because technically our operation, we have 20%, which is good practices. 20% of our operating would be 3 million. So we would be well within it to meet that requirement from the state. However, taking that kind of money, the town wasn't, wasn't happy about it. They wanted to leave the money where it was. Isn't there a requirement under the, uh, our fund that we have to maintain a certain balance Dollar balance. It's, I guess it's the best balance. management practice was 20% of your operating cost, and ours is three point something million. So if we yes. kept, yeah, because yeah, I don't think it's because I know yeah, that that is the We have to keep X amount. Sorry, yeah. I don't think Peter got an answer. What's Peter's question? I apologize, Peter. What is his question again? You want to try again? Yeah, please. I'm sorry. So I believe if the it. borrowed money that we haven't borrowed yet, but have authorization for, yeah. must be used on the Swift Beach project, yes. why don't we use retained earnings to go towards this? So instead of using retained earnings, we'll borrow the money. Go ahead. We'll we'll, we've we'll already been approved. Yeah. Use it and spend it, and we'll use our retained earnings. For to go projects. against these other projects. Well, we still Smith. have to do the same thing. We still have to bring that Yeah, but what he's saying is no. that, no, no. Then we don't have to go to town meeting for anything. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Just borrow it, and it's borrowed, and we spend it. We're, and then we're authorized to do it. Go ahead and do it. Pay Absolutely. for the swift speech. We'll have it. some change, yep. and we have our retained earnings, yep. and let's start using it on these other projects. Why not? Now, what I wanted to ask you. I think just, just um, it's some metrics. Here. It is, but uh, this other project's not going to start for, we'll pay some engineering, five, six, seven hundred thousand, whatever it is, but the bulk of it's going to be paid in five years, right? So we'll be paying interest on these bonds for five years um, and getting nothing for interest on, on our retained earnings. So the six and a half million dollar line... You're but when we're not going to be doing it for five years. We're going to start doing more. Just as soon as Swift Speech is finished, yes. we're going to put them someplace else. Yeah. Yeah. Peter's talking yeah. about lining yeah. some pipes on okay. the be Onset Beach right. and off of Smith... Yeah. We Smith have, from what I understand, about station. 14 million. I, I understand that. So whether we... Took the whole 14 million, had no interest on that, or took the five, well, five million left. I don't, I'm not going to get into that. Sure. But we can make some, some uh, you know. Now, let me ask you another. Scenarios, but you have a let, me ask, let, let me ask you another question 
forget all of this for a second. When we go to town meeting yep. and we want to borrow five million dollars, yep. do we have to specify where it's going, or can we just say it's to line pipes? And here's our list. We're going to go as far as the money will take us. That I don't know. You'd have to ask uh, Joe Attorney Joe. Bowen. Joe well, because. That. That's what I would rather do, and then we wouldn't be in this problem. We would have that $10 million and just keep going down that list. And we could discuss the priorities and, and, and well, that's it. banter we, around us. Exactly. You know, this becomes more of a priority, it's less priority. But we didn't do it. And we didn't do it. But, can, but in but the future, can we do it? I, would, I think that's a valid point. I think that's an excellent point. I would think point. so. I mean, the project is there. The sites may be ABC um, as opposed to DEF. And we'll just keep going down the list until we run out of money. And then we'll go ask for more. I can uh, I can pose the question, and uh, I, I feel like if guys up for it, we should create a chart with timelines and cash outflows by quarter. That uh, we have cash, we're just not managing the projects. We're not lining, teeing them up, getting the engineering done, and getting them out the door. Right? We have 14 million dollars, 11 of which is available while we still maintain a, a, a decent reserve. So I'm not sure that cash is our problem. I don't think cash is our problem. But if you and I take sit down, we list projects by priority and put a start date on them, the uh, uh, force main, for instance, would start in, say, three and a half years with the engineering. That could be wrong, but that's what, what uh, you know, guys' expertise is for. And we put the lining projects. You, and if you do all that, Ellis, right? Yeah. You'll know when we're going to run out of money. We will. We should have an estimate, uh, high, low, and and uh, what we believe it will be. And then, will and then cost. you want to keep in the bank. And then the what we'll, if? We'll do some exactly. planning, and then then when it comes time, we can do the borrowing. Absolutely. Keep Rates it. are still low, so it's yeah, not if. it's not a horrendous idea to borrow keep, if you can get money at three, four percent. Keep in mind, when we increased the EDUs, it was fifty percent of that increase was to go toward capital. Was it fifty? Yep. I forget the words. Yes. It was fifty percent. Right. Well, last year's budget had a good amount of money for capital, close to a million dollars. So this year we're have a little more of the rate increase. I haven't seen what is our capital what is our budget we're presenting for capital this coming year for twenty twenty? Well, Guy and I haven't sat down that's the last piece of the budget I need to get together is, is, uh, and I need to get it approved so I haven't shared it. I thought but today was the deadline for the budget for uh, all for, articles. You know, the budget's a lot of articles, I'm not so sure. A lot, a lot of today actually, was the deadline was the, for all articles. I thought it was the other day, but I thought it was Tuesday actually, but you're probably right. You're probably more no, today right. was it was a yeah. deadline Monday for articles, and then today was the deadline for citizens and all other articles. All right. Well, I can't get this so I'm, yeah. I'm I still getting get my feet right here. But, uh, my paper's in my room. Uh, I hope you put a placeholder in. That's policy. Yeah. So the question has to be asked to mm -hmm. Mr. Bowen, can we do a generic, mm -hmm. a generic yeah. article for lining without specific locations? I'll ask him tonight. He's around midnight. He's good. I'll, I'll email. Bob would be on the first thing I'm asking. I think Ellis, you will do that. I can ask him. Yeah. Yeah. Then the question has to be asked. We know that the five million borrowed for Swiss Beach, can we use it for Swiss Beach, and use the, and not use our reserve? What do retained, we call it? Retained earnings. Retained, retained earnings. Not use our retained earnings and apply it to a future lining project. Well, the, the point is that he. Ellis is making is that we're paying interest on that. Yeah, but it's only two or three percent. Right? Well, well the, we could but borrow in the future and well, rates may and, and may four or five percent. But yeah. it, it, it's a case of, as Don has put it, kicking the can down the road. We can't do it any longer. Well, I'm not talking about kicking projects down the road. I'm talking about pushing borrowing a little bit down the road. Right. But we're better, we're better to borrow and pay 2% than we go through share. what Plymouth went through. We get our share of grant money, too. Like, but we yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. 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 well, that that's what we're Guy and I think. need to set up a chart that says we're going we're gonna to do it at this rate. And no, and I, I, I think Can you do it faster? I think we're, you know, together. We want to keep lining pipe. 
Yeah. Okay. So you're going to come up with, you and Guy are going to come up with two lists. Prioritize lining, prioritize replacement. Is that right? Is that what I'm hearing? Two what separate lists. Well, I mean, what we what want the priority list. Whether we replace them or line them, that'll... But if we have the two of them together... There's also other equipment on the list, too. Oh, well, there's always equipment on the list. Some of it's expensive. But, but I, I think Guy makes a, a terrific point that the force mains are more important than the gravity mains. Yeah. And that's... I don't know how to and they're the expensive ones. Yeah, because yeah, they, they, they just the gravity those are ten million by themselves. And, gra and, and re the, the the consequences, but gravity main the worst case scenario of a break, it doesn't go everywhere. You can contain it, you can get out if you had to. So it's minimal. I don't want to minimize impact. What I'm saying it's less than the force main. And then so the consequence. So I look at likelihood of failure, which is which is they're saying within the next five years. So that's a high likelihood. <coughs> But the consequences are severe. That's even higher than the likelihood. The consequences of that failure are tremendous. So that's why it floats to the very top of everything, because this report floats it to the top because we get documentation saying, yeah, you got an issue here. And then we've got, we've never looked at, at Heinz, but we're making some assumptions. Now, we're doing a line stop. We have that grant to put the bypass. We have to do a line stop now, so I'm going to try to get a core of that pipe to give you a better idea. Russ will be here next week to explain that. We've already explained it, but we'll re explain it because to Alice's point, we, the engineer, gave us a budget. I went out to bid, and that budget was below. It's higher than what the budget was estimated because you make phone calls individuals. We locked out on the lining and went lower. This budget went higher than the calls he got for the budgetary, so he's going to come explain all that the 21st. I'm saying next week, I apologize, the 21st. Um, so I guess my point is, is um, we're going to get a piece of that pipe to kind of say, yes, here's where it is. But we believe that that, that pipe may be in worse shape the narrows because of elevation, and that goes through more marshland. So that's what we're concerned about because it's got more water on both sides of it. That's the theory, so we'll find that out. I've got a question. You said you've also got equipment on that one. What kind of equipment? Uh, lift stations. Uh, Donna, here is uh, the uh, five year plan. Tank. Um, the 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 uh, well, that's the equipment that they've asked for in their five-year capital plan. If you look at the, I, Donna, do you have a copy of the summary of the CIP? Because that was all itemized too, as to exactly what we're looking at. And I'm working off that to try to get things because the capital said, you know, no, generally you got to be specific. And I'm trying to be specific with tongue in cheek because it's hard to be specific. See what's being listed. So boring, but there's a yeah. lot of things. It goes on and on and on. We've got, we've got sludge tanks. We've got uh, aeration basin that needs to be done. We've got a headworks that needs to be done. We've got, we just spent money on a set of plans to make narrows resilient against storms. That's $700,000 okay. to do that. Plan. That's ready. That's We've got really. a okay. bunch of electrical components in all these older pump stations that are getting ready to go. We've got to replace well, those. Sure. So yeah, there's a lot. It's all on that list. I have so seen we, it, but I have so but handy. what scares me the most, and I think the most highest priority right now, is that force main. Of course, Maine is critical because it's so critical to the town, and the condition says that we've got an issue they're recommending within five years. No, it's like, can it last six years? Maybe. But Maybe we don't, we don't want to I risk don't it. want to take, I'm not a risk taker. A lot of people are. I don't buy scratch tickets, I don't gamble. A lot of people do. And so, if this board, it's your privilege to say, <laughs> so you're going to put the rest of this whole package together so that we can look at. The priorities on these things and the numbers associated with them. So then, yeah, we'll we'll not what do you think is best? Uh, it should be, you know, we'll try to put some uh, yeah. borrowing numbers to that once we run out of cash yeah. and uh, put, put the effect of, to the ratepayers of the borrowing mm -hmm. because, of course, the next quarter you better start making payments on those funds. Right. So, yeah. and get a ruling on whether we can do it. Can we just borrow money and say, here's our list, we're going to go? I'll, I'll As opposed that. to having to pinpoint a project. Yeah. But for now, we do have, a, a, I would say, 11 million available. That, uh, 11? Well, there's 14 total. If we need to have 3 million for a reserve, yeah. that's what tells me we have 11 available. I can buy a new truck? For construction. Yeah. So we have 14 total. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, that force pain, it, it, it concerns me. It, it, what happens if it, it, what happens if it goes? We'll have a mess. No, well, oh, how are we gonna fix it? Huh? I don't know. Well, tell me, what are you going to do get, with it? What are you going to do tomorrow morning if that main goes? I just want to know. What, what, what are you am gonna I going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, first thing I'm going to call the EPA and DEP and tell them that we've got a major catastrophic failure and they get involved. That's the first thing I have to do by law. Okay. That's the first thing. Okay. I, I thought you were going to retire. I don't know fisheries. Yeah, <laughs> probably put resignation in tonight, but then I call fisheries and I call all the different divisions. So that's done. Now, I try to stop. The, I would try to stop the floor at Narrows. So that means I get a bunch of pump trucks in immediately and have them just keep sucking and getting it out. And that stops the flow. Because okay. I can't stop the town. I can't stop the hospital. So I got to keep measuring. Yeah. And I got to run trucks all day, which is probably five, six, seven, eight, nine trucks. Because that station they does 300,000 gallons they per day. They won't be able to pump faster. I, so I, we're gonna try. We'll, we, we'll hit both. Well, well, we'll hit the manholes. We'll keep pumping our butts off. That's all we can do. Then I'd bring in a million-gallon tank, set it in the portables. I would set it up behind. I've already thought this through because it scares me. I'd set up a million-gallon tank on the backside of that in the parking okay. lot. Shut the parking lot. Okay. And have at it. Okay. So that's I'm, just to control it. What I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is, you'd have to take care of it. Absolutely. And it would be. Millions uh, astronomical. more. The cost would Millions be astronomical. More. I don't even want to put a price on it. So. I've thought this. I, I have sleepless nights because of these force mains of lights. I've thought this through. I've taken notes. I've got it all out there. All right? And I'll share it. I, I just, because these are realities. And if it happens, and I pray to God it never happens. But if it happens and we're not prepared, forget it. I mean that, to get it. Plymouth is a 50 million plus and still climbing. The lawsuits are incredible. The fines are in the millions. And it just goes on and on and on. And Tuckett is in the millions to recover. Their fines are astronomical. It goes forever. So I'm not comfortable in that position. So force main can come high. And we have 54 of them. Every pump station has a force main. And a lot of these we've never looked at. And we also have, I think, 72 uh, air relief valves that we've never looked at that have never been maintained, nothing, they're all failed. And it's probably each uh, point, the last, it's about $25,000 per to replace. So you add that up. So yeah, there's a lot of, and we'll put that list together, and there's a lot of things out there. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. And we'll give it, and then you can sit here and you can chew on it and say, okay, this is high, and we'll, we'll put some consequences to it. Yeah, absolutely. Because it keeps me up at night, and you guys might as well join me. Well, okay, so that's what we're going to go with this whole thing. I, I would, understand what you're after with the Yeah, and I would, we and want to take I, care of that as soon as possible, as practical. And um, I would, but we need numbers associated and with And I would it, suggest as system. we move along with this that we let the public know what, what's going on. Yeah. 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 It's That's their money. It, it's a public. Oh, Don <laughs> Public's calling Don. They're watching. It's, it's, gonna be the it's their money. They should be aware Hello? of what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need you. Can I call you right back? Sure. That's I'll call you back. Bye. So uh, that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. But anything else you have to do, I'm happy to do my best thing. Now we'll, we'll see as, what this gets back As a follow-up to the 17th meeting, you were going to give us some idea how long uh, the lining would happen at the two sites, being Swiss Beach and Osset um, Pier, from the pier to Stonebridge. I haven't done anything okay. on that, to be perfectly honest with you. I've been Awesome. So I, okay, I own you that. Yep. Not me. I own you that. So I, I don't know. Right then. Because I, I apologize. It's Because that would give us some idea of what we'd have to possible yes. cost of lining. Because you said those were the two critical places that needed lining. And gravity lining, absolutely. And so I, and I think we left it. We'll sit with Miss Alice, uh, Mr. Uh, Alice, Mr. Bailey, and we'll put all that yep. down, okay. including those. Okay. And it'll all be on a spreadsheet, and then you guys can. Pick this all then, we'll look this then we can use darts and see what it is. <laughs> yeah, you can look at it and say, okay. Because it's like a budget. Nothing's absolute. Nothing is absolute. But we, uh, if we take the best information available, we can make some good decisions to what we should prioritize and how to go about it. Because we, we really have to. You're absolutely right. We can't ignore it. I was very confused by this project for capital email I got. For me? 
Yeah, I got copied on it, and I was confused as to what it was talking about. Uh, you never know. Oh, this is for um, what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, this is, um, yeah, this is just. Oh, it's not it was confusing. Exactly what I'm looking for. It's confusing. Uh, yeah, it probably is. Uh, I, I know what it says, but where, where it is. It gives where, numbers. If someone's confused, I'll, I'll, I'll try to clarify. Well, it's, it's, it's just. I'm not, because I don't know what you're asking for for your I'm asking cabinet. for nothing. I'm just bringing it forward to your attention. Okay. I'm and asking just, for nothing. Okay. You need to be aware. That's all it is. It's, 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 it's Have we awareness. seen a capital plan for sewer yet for 2020? I just I'm asking, you, I, I'm I just, I'm I asking was, Jimmy not as not the, from the concept no. for capital planning. No. We haven't okay. been there yet. No. Did, did we have a meeting yet? I, I'm, no, we haven't had one yet. Okay. So, yeah. But I, I don't okay. Like that. Just trying to put some numbers. And we were supposed to get addresses for the... Lot, um, areas not sewered. We're supposed to get addresses. Addresses. No. I think my name is addresses. Yep. There's no sequencing. Yeah. So that has okay. Okay. So how do you schedule the budget? Bug me. Yes. Email number. No, seriously, email me. You can't bug me enough because it's be sometimes I just you can't bug. I'm yeah, I'm lying. Right. I can't be. I don't mind. I can't be bugged. Sure. I can't be bugged enough. So, um, I, Jim, I know you had talked to the operators and they wanted to do something with the camera truck, just so you're aware. I look, the program is $10,000 just to have the program. We're not running that truck enough for me to buy a computer with a $10,000 program. But I came up again today, today, and I'm not going to go there, just so you're aware. Because I think one of you, the operator, went to you and said, if I had a computer, I could do, spit out reports. What he didn't tell you is that the program is $10,000. And that's to get the basic. Minor little. Just minor. Just basic. What, 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 what it goes higher than that. So I'm not going to spend $10,000 on a program that I'm not acting. Once I, when I increase my staff, and I think I talked a while ago about staffing and EPA, DEP requirements. When I increase my staff, I can put two guys in the camera truck and run it seven days a week or five days a week. I'll spend the $10,000. But to do it occasionally and go at something and stop. Because we take, we record onto sticks. I got, honestly, I got a bunch of recordings. I can plug those in. As a matter of fact, we upload those to the grant to the uh, utility cloud website. So you can go on there and see all these pipes that we that we've looked at, and all these videos are there. And so that's what we're doing now. How much, is, how much of the town has been cameraed? Uh, our, our system. How much of our system not, has been cameraed? Not that lost. Less than ten percent. They say that with that ten percent that's been cameraed. Cost us a lot of money. That's what you're making your decision on what we're going to align going yeah. forward. Uh, yeah. And, okay. and, uh, no, I, absolutely. I'm just, I'm just it's, it's scary. Okay. There may be greater so, liabilities out there that we don't even know about. That's why I said to you when I first got, I said, gosh, I cursed today I got this care because now you all of a sudden, whoa, whoa, whoa. And every time you go out there, it's like, oh, my goodness. And so, and, and for full disclosure, CMOM, the operator requires that. It requires us to film every inch of our lives. Well, that's, that's the point. I'm yeah, getting. so we got to get there. I, I, I realize that. That's Jim, I'm gunshot. I'm, I'm shot. I, <coughs> no, I, mean, I, know we're, I know we're required to do that, but at the same time, not only aside from the requirement, mm. It's, it's necessary in order for you to be able to give your priorities that we're looking for. And we, we can, now, you're right, so either we hire get, out. You're only going to be able to give me priorities online for the stuff that you've done thus far and everything else is, you know. Well, some of it, Jim, is based upon actual numbers. We did an I&I &I study and we can see that and we can really verify it. And there's smoke and there's a whole plethora of things that we need to do to substantiate that. But the I&I &I report is, is emphatically uh, says that yes, these areas are taking tons of water and they need to be addressed. What I can't give you is, what we're trying to give you is, is it this section of the pipe and, or is it this section of the pipe? But we know this catchment area, so you take North Boulevard. The water's tremendous. We know Smith Pump Station, the water's tremendous. We know for the marshes, we have that, but you're right. We need you to do more camera to pinpoint. Okay, right we're trying to do that. Based on what you were just saying then too, is uh, talking about lining. Can he do lining A 400 foot section of a pipe without having to do the entire line. You can do, you can line. do, you can you can do, do manhole to manhole. Just, okay. So if we have a. So if you've got a break someplace or you've got a heavy leak someplace, we could potentially line that one section to take care of that particular problem that's right. without it being a real issue. So that's probably. Uh, based on the INI study, that seems to me that's probably what we need to do 
there's a, there's a priority line on top of it. And, and that's take care of the major problems we're trying, with yes. the lining right away. And then, you know, as money presents itself to the content. complete it in other areas that aren't as critical. So yeah, to your point, if we the things that we're worried about, we, we spend that money, whether it's 14 million, 15 million, whatever we uh, 18 million liability, we get that done and we continue on. Um, and yes, the original plan was to we knew Swiss speech was in major trouble. Yeah. I know we had a lot of specials out there, so we like Our original plan was to do all of Swiss speech, it was gonna be like a twenty million dollar project. Just get it done. Then we yeah, said, wait a minute. We're talking about lining at that no, point. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking about, about replacement. We're talking about we talked about Taking many up. things. We talked about Grinder pumps, we talked about pipe replacement, and we talked about lighting. But we really looked hard into grinder pumps because grinder pumps eliminate some pumps. And so we really focused on that. Uh, we focused on, that's where we started that $20 million bond before, then we lowered it down to seven three thousand for engineering in Swiss Beach, which we've since changed to town wide because we wanted to get hard numbers and we wanted to do because it brings everything up out of the water. It's tight and small wet wells and people cannot use sump pumps. So we looked at that and that was like, let's do that. But the cost was 20 million. The question became, do we spend 20 million in one area? And if we do that, we bond that, well then we'll have no money for quite a while to do any other part of the town. Right. And so that's why we looked at the total evaluations and, and WAF and EPA says, no, do a total evaluation, that's where we are. So, um, yeah, you're, you're right. It, we, Swiss Beach was first in, in the uh, grinder pumps and a whole plethora of other things. But to your question, yes, you can do sections at a time. They, it doesn't have to be the whole site, it can just be one pipe. So as we identify the greater leakers, so we need it to be so we probably need to go back to the INI study and identify those particular ones and camera those specific areas specific, that yes. are showing uh, problems. Yeah. We did 12th so Street, in, in where we did 12th Street. We already know a couple of them. We know, we know the so onset, we, know that, yeah. we know the beach area and onset is critical, and I think that's going to be done. Yeah. Probably over and above anything else. Absolutely, both beaches, uh, the one at Eagle yeah. Beach and the one that, that's a long onset well, beach. Right. That's need to be video on those. Those are critical. Those need to be taken care of first. Yeah, so. and, and we also did okay. the line coming into Smith that goes across the uh, marsh. We know that's critical. So and everything around there. Those so are all of that will be on the overall yeah. and Pinehurst, okay. the ones that yeah. we do the day. We talked about that. That's that's underwater work, and that has to be done too. So those we know the areas that are biting us hard and, mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll put together a spreadsheet, put some hard numbers to it as best we can. We'll do some calling okay. and some numbers. numbers. That's what, that's what we'll be looking for. And then we can go for it. Some place okay. to go from there. Uh, we still got the unfinished business that we're working on in different categories. Stone Path is still, uh, you're going to go see them based on what Sandy just said? Yes. He says so, he's going to write an email. So the pumps we know about, uh, uh, policy still hasn't been hammered tight Can yet. we, someone's, I heard in the selectman meeting that our bylaw regarding sump pumps was fault, was it fault, was faulty. Fault what? what I don't know. I don't Has know anybody ever followed up when that statement was made as to what is the problem with our bylaw? I have no idea. Because we, we now have no time to repair it for the next town meeting. Yeah. Wasn't that the oh, selectman's oh, bylaw? Oh, no, this no, is the selectman's bylaw. I, I can't know. remember which one of the two selectmen that spoke on. Well, spoke don't pay any attention to either one. The one that has a pump on. If it's our policy, the hell with them. It's a bylaw. It's a bylaw. It's in there. It, it's, the it's in there that, that, that you can't laugh for. But apparently, it is so. Oh, it is God, such a fault funny. that we cannot use it to insist on. It wasn't some pumps. It was connecting to sewer. That's what it was. Yes, that was not. And it's not. That's not. It was connecting to sewer. That's right. Because there were, we could not force people after sending yeah, them a registered a letter, that. there's a problem with connecting to sewer, yeah. not sump pumps. Yeah. Right. So yeah, they can have sump pumps, they just Patrick can't connect it to the sanitary you know, sources. Patrick said that here. And there might be a problem. I'm, is, they said I'm because trying they, to they get send there might be certified a, letters. No, that was one of the problems. That was yeah. one of the problems. Yeah, so we need to, remember, with remember. name and addresses, we need to get certified letters out the door that require these 86 people to. The letters Step never up. went out. Right? The never letters never went out certified. Yeah, that we was sent letters. We've been sending letters, and then the people are getting the letters because they sent us letters saying they can't do it. We just jump from so that verifies. Yes, we just. I, no, I I was talking about yeah, the wrong said. topic. Mm -hmm. We were talking about sub pumps. She has senior moment. I most well, certainly did a major senior. She pays too much attention to those selectmen. That's her problem. 
She doesn't it's that pillow choice. talk will get you every time. <laughs> I didn't Jim. think that you and your cat were talking. <laughs> Jim, thank you for welcoming Kids me. Kids up for this real. Cool life. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks, guys. Good Thanks. To you. See ya. Good. Thank you, Alice. We didn't mean to bore you this yeah. time. Yeah. Nice I know to meet you. Need something. Oh. I've got a list, but. Uh, you know, I'm doing procurement, which really dovetails into this. Take him out for an ice cream. And, uh, yeah. and the business manager. There's a lot to learn, but I'm, well, I'm day seven now, so. Hey, you'll get well, there. I guess I'm not halfway there. But hey, anything that cleans up our act is good. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks again. By the 12th, you'll have it under control. I, I hope so. <laughs> no. See you tomorrow, guy. Yep, see you tomorrow. The 12th of never, you forgot to tell him. Well, he wasn't listening. I did tell him. Oh. I'm sorry, I got confused and talked about yeah. sorry, Really? I should have been talking about your what? Sewer you got hookups. Well, a box, a box, keep a box. in mind, I just came from a two and a half hour historical society board meeting. I'm still spinning. Told you to I'm give still it up. spinning. Told you to give it up. You got too much going on. Don't you resign from that? I have man. nothing tomorrow. Okay, the home's not connected. That was part of that. Clean the house. Uh, Ed and Rich, we had a Make little some cookies discussion uh, earlier uh, trying to get the water usage again, so we'll continue to pursue that. Uh, Ed and Rich is still, we still haven't got anything back from Diane Bond yet. No, I, I tell them the email, invite them here, I, I don't know what's going on. We, we, if you want to, to give up with them. I was saying, if you want give to them up. do it. They, 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 they've, they've got nothing for us. No, because no, it's, we it's don't for, for three years. Are we still paying them? I think we have one more. I think, no, we're paying them. So we're up to date. We're up to date. We're, we're, we we came to the meeting. We haven't had anything for four or five years. Yeah, it's been, a, it's well, been four or five years. Yeah, so well, I'm, I'm going back to, I, they haven't given us anything since I've been on it. I'm, right. I'm a, yeah, well, if, if they can't do anything without the water rates, then there's no need to keep them on, on board. We can do more. We, we can do more. And we're cheaper. Okay, anything else, anybody? Uh, I looked at that, I looked at that right Pierce report. They give you a cost estimate. Mm -hmm. But say it doesn't take five years to design it. Say we have to start two years out. Maybe that's what I want to see. Well, so yeah, so you know what I'm saying? That report's not saying it's going to, but they're saying it's that. So you guys can plan. We'll, we'll plan it, but they're saying. Or should we start planning it five years out? Uh -uh. Too late. Well, if you were instead small, of just getting there and saying, "Well, we got to borrow another six and a half, it'll be seven point five by the time we do oh, it." Absolutely. I mean, I don't know. You guys are the financial people. Well, how do you plan a project I, I, like that? What I'm looking properly, at, instead of getting there and going, "Oops." Well, geo takes about eight months. You know, geo. So we get to geo, and you got to bore and all that. Cause that's yeah. eight months. Then they got to read it and digest it. Then you got to then you got to um, uh, design it. That means you got to take the geo, set up your your what they call so profile. That's probably two years. Yeah. You do all that. So it's at least a couple of years to get to where you can use it. That's going to blow off two years right off the bat. So just to five years. But financially, can you start planning now? Yes. Well, well that's, put the money. That's what we're trying to do. That's what or whatever. But hopefully, Mac, and that's what we'll do. If if he'll come back when he comes back with the priority list of these things. But that's where we'll I see what the numbers be. are, and then we can determine where we want to go with it because that will determine the borrowing and how much we have to no borrow. No always win. just get there and say, okay. No, no. But I, I wouldn't mind being Plan there ahead. and saying, okay, we need X plus a percentage because things went up. That wouldn't bother. Yeah. But and, and again, they're saying within five years they're comfortable saying that we should do that. Doesn't mean we can't do it. And I agree with you, Jim. We might be a little bit ahead of the curve. The pipe didn't look too bad, but you don't know every inch of the pipe. That's right. And we beat you down on doing that. Because we just limited what Because we didn't want to spend the money. But I think we've got some good results to say, okay. Because what they, I don't know if it's here, I'll show you what I guess what I'm looking at with that, Mac, is is it saying that, you know, without having that other information that we're looking for, a priority list of everything, 
this becomes one of these, oh, we got to do it, you know. Well, that's, that, that's a top priority that, to me. I don't know that we force do. mains don't have a lot Sky of manholes. Gravity, you've got a manhole yeah, every exactly. quarter. They're all over yeah. the yeah. What yeah. did this study cost You can cost isolate us? it. You can, you can fix a section. What did this cost? No, no, I agree. I'm there with you. $100,000 for that plus the actual physical work, which is like 47000 I'm just. I don't know. I think it's like thirty grand costs for their time. I noticed that plan. they say what, that at, at site I, one, I there's a 38% loss, just no. but at site two, there's only a 16% loss. So site two is at the pump station? And you yeah. expect no, that that's the, it's the other way around. Is it? God, okay. gave me a well, this should, wow, then that's what I, can I see that report, Tom? The, the actual, the, yeah. I want to see the back end of it. Oh, the, 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 the right pair? Yeah. The cost, yeah. The right pair? The full report. Yeah, but I want the full, because it, so I just he, want you, to, you've got that's for the numbers. Yeah, I want to identify site that. one, site two. Oh. He needs to look at that. No, no, I need just this. Oh, just this, okay. I'll give it back to you, I guess where. Yeah. Because he's saying that the sites, because the, the greater loss should be- It says it's site one. The greater loss should be at the site where, at the, where the, where the-, where the um, Oh, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. Okay. Site two is, is the pump It was just where we thought at the high point. Because yeah. you thought there was a problem, and plus right. you knew the vent didn't. Work. Could you? Uh, so. And the vent would be placed right. I still would like to think that that's. So what they're just good, but if you look at the report, if you pull it out, yeah. they give you every site they looked at for the 10 feet, and you look at it, and then the average out, and what they said the average loss was up to was 44%. Average loss. They point the one out, but you got to read the whole report, and then you can make your own mind. So that's why, and I, and I know it's a pain in the neck. I'll give you this one, but I, I don't know how I, I do before I print because this is a lot. I I do double sided keep it down. But I scroll and I go through the report. I read it, scroll it, read it. Not, I, it may take me three or four days. I'm not able to. No, no, not, not to blame. Yeah. Excuse me, though. Let's just play. Have either of you seen the 747 he has in his office to look at? Who, me? The 747? What's he got a big freaking... Is that big? Guys, 36 it's all, it's all, You it's think it was big. a jumbo truck? Okay. Okay. Jumbo truck? At oh, come Gillette. on. It's, it's come not on. like this. <laughs> come on. It's like the jumbo truck. better just Gillette. be looking at numbers on that thing. God. Um, guy, <laughs> guy, one other thing. Yes. Could you... Um, well, have somebody look back on the notes or, or, or you, when we increase, when we voted on the increase so we can have it on our agenda to when it's a year, we can revisit it so we don't get behind like we are. Let me say this, uh, and you're right. Technically, when we looked at the sewer um, commissioners and, and the bylaw, every billing cycle before that, you're supposed to look at what all costs are, whether it be fees and everything, and you can set it twice a year. Historically, they set it once a year. Well, I'm so, not yeah. looking to do it twice a year. You know what I'm saying? You can look at yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying to do anything, no. but twice a year, I, it's like, okay, here's my cost. We I want to do something rather than nothing. Yes, so we can do it annually now, because we bill in July, end of July. So at July meeting, we can start looking at all the numbers and what the rates are, what the liabilities. We can do all the spreadsheets, and you can make a decision as to whether you need to raise it or lower it or whatever. Yeah, I do. I do want to write up the race again. It was August. I don't want to it do it, but August, I don't think we have any choice. August 2nd. It was August 2nd. So, okay, so we'll revisit it in August again. Let's plan on, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Sanders. I, 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 I don't mean to. I, I, I think we should, I, I would like to make a recommendation that we, we, we start looking at it and comparing and be prepared in August to if we have to go to the uh, rate, uh, another rate increase, that we, you know, I'd, I'd like to do it slow and gradual. Why don't we set it up for the 15th well, of August? You, well, because we really. I'm not it. arguing with you, I've already said that. No, you, no, well, that's why I know. Well, I, I know you're not arguing with me. And, and, and you know, you know, we, we, you know, if we do it slow and steady, we're not killing people. I mean, we're hurting, and but but we haven't. It hasn't been done in so long. We haven't. We're now. We're well, now at a crisis point. We need to take care of our infrastructure, and the whole country is looking at infrastructure that's not being taken care of. So we're going to do it, right, guys? USA. 
So by that time, we need the total birthday, cost to running the plant so we know what our AD rate should be with allowing uh, for funds for capital. Okay. And we'll have the priority oh, okay, list. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we have to have all of that before we yeah. go asking for more money. Well, absolutely. Okay. Well, we. I this last increase in August, you assumed we it. didn't have fun. We didn't have a number in front of us. We just said it had been a long time since we increased in the cost of all the. Yeah, but we only we only we only we only set aside two percent of that. Right. To maintenance. Yep. The rest of it is just covering our, okay, our, our capital costs. costs. And the capital costs are, are more than going to justify it. Yep. Right? That I mean. So now, especially with help with the numbers, we can look at this. Exactly. Right. You got a new guy. Exactly. And we don't want to. We want to. We want to no. stay pro. Oh, we've gone over those. Pro infrastructure. Mm -hmm. He's right on it. I, I saw one of his emails. He's looking for a schedule on it. Are we, um, are we, are we done? Yes. Well, Can we yes. I, don't, I don't know. You'll have to check with Donna. Can't sit much longer. I'm sorry. Found out I got a hernia. Donna, Donna, this isn't comfortable. Speak. Speak. Oh. oh, I make a motion that we adjourn. Oh, aye. <laughs> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Jeez, Jeez I, was, you are I, slow. I know today.